In this video, I'm going to talk about my new JVC radio that I added to my 5th generation 4Runner. When I got ready to put a new radio in my 4Runner, I researched and researched and researched. It took me probably two months to come up with rich radio that I wanted. And I have to say, I am so glad that I got this radio. My old radio that was in here, it and my Apple iPhone were not friends. They didn't talk. So I really wanted Apple CarPlay because I'm a realtor and I travel and I'm in my car all the time. So I feel like a good radio is something that for me is a must because I'm in the car all the time. When I was researching this, almost all the radios that have Apple CarPlay, none of them has the Garmin built in. My huge fear being a realtor and I travel all over the place is what if I get somewhere and I don't have cell service and I cannot look up an address and get to the next house. That was my biggest concern. So I ended up opting for this one that does have the maps in it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I've not one time used the maps that have come with this. I always use the ways. My second big concern when I was looking at this one is the screen is big and it blocks my vents. I was super worried that it was gonna block my vents and being in Alabama, it's hot. And is that gonna restrict my air? that has not been a problem at all. Even in the middle of the summer, it works great. It doesn't block it. The second thing was, is because it is so big, it blocks my knobs for my air conditioner, but that hasn't been an issue either because I've had my car for so long, I know where everything is. Now, Bill, my husband, who doesn't drive it that much, who have to kind of lean down to look. In this video, we are not talking about specs. I am just basically talking about my likes and dislikes of this unit. One thing that I really did not like about this unit, it sets off of the dash and going down the road, it would vibrate. I took a piece of pool noodle and covered it in gaff tape and pushed it behind here and pushed it up against so that it actually had another point of contact and that has worked perfect. And you wouldn't even know that it's back there unless I told you it was back there. I put a piece of nano tape on it to hold it to the stereo. So if I still wanted to pull the radio down, I can do that. Another thing that I've had problems with this, when it was super cold here in Alabama for several weeks, it, and I got a video of it, and I'll play that here in just a second, it, would start making horrible noises and then just shut off. And then it would come back on. But it did do that a couple of times. Now, the other thing is there's an app that comes with it. And the app is the part that gives you the weather. You can get the weather, which I don't have mine attached because Every time you get in the vehicle, um, let me turn it off and back on and I'll show you. To make the weather come up, you have to, every time you turn the car off and back on, you have to allow the app, you have to at, uh, allow, it's the Kenwood traffic powered by, now my traffic on, I don't know that it, I have, I like I said, I don't even use the traffic on there, but you have to hit allow every time and then log in every time. And when I say log in, like you have to retype all your information in, which is horrible. So every time I want the weather to work, I have to log this in every time. Yeah, I haven't logged in for so long, so I think their app is just totally useful, useless. I always just leave it on my tire pressure on this screen. 
I love the backup camera on this thing. It works great. And my car did not have tire pressure monitoring, but it does work with this when they hooked it up. There is not really anything that will dim the light. So like when I'm driving at night and I'm on the Waze app, this thing brightens the whole car up very, I mean, it's like really super bright. So I don't like that I can't manually of some sort dim this. Now, if you know how to do that, please let me know because I have researched and I can't find anything. Overall, I really like this. The apps work great. The Bluetooth works great. I did not want, because I am a realtor and I get in and out of the car, I didn't want to have to plug my radio, my phone up to the radio every time I get in and out of the vehicle, that it had Bluetooth and the Bluetooth has worked great. I haven't had any issues with that at all as well. So if you're looking at getting this one, I would suggest and say yes. And I did this video just to kind of give a regular person's perspective because there are so many videos out there on the specs and how to install this, which we did not install this. We had a company do it, but there are so many videos out there about that, that I, and I wouldn't be the good person for all that. But I just wanted to give my perspective as a user what my thoughts were on this because I couldn't really find videos about that that weren't sponsored or something like that. I hope you found this video useful and hopefully you're going to get you a new radio.